Okay, so I want to make sure that you understand that you could transfer this back to a texture for other 3D applications. So that's what we're going to cover in the next little uh, five minute tutorial. So what I could do here is uh, go to texture. Well, let's go to render, turn on back on preview. Uh, this is the actual texture involved here because of the colorization. But what I want to do is take it and burn it to a texture. So I could just hit new and it turns it back white. I could then go to material, make sure intensity is all the way up, and color to texture. Okay, then I get this. Okay, now I could take and texture, flip vertical, export, and I'll export that on the desktop, and I'm just going to do this very quickly and make it a TIFF and call it test. Okay, um, let's take the guy and let's say level 2. It's pretty high, but oh well. Export and we'll call it demo head object. Let's hop into a program called Maya. Okay, once Maya la launches, import desktop. Demo head. Make it a little bit bigger. Six on the keyboard. Go to window. Rendering editors, hypershade. Go to textures. Hit the Windows key and E on the keyboard. That'll bring up this. Okay, I could drop this down to desktop. And now I have this TIFF called test. I can drag that out. Okay, I can go into materials and let's create a new material. I don't like that default material thing. Uh, let's go into Maya nodes. Lambert, I can drag one of those out. Okay, textures, middle mouse button, click and drag to color. Middle mouse button, click and drag to the object. And to make it even look softer, click on the guy, normals, soften edge. Voila! Okay, so that is a quick and dirty way to turn it back to a texture and into a 3D program. Enjoy!